Right, how y'all doing out there tonight? My name is Pet Killer, and today we are going Not to be starting. Not looking good tonight. I haven't rolled above a 13 on oh. my d20. Oops. <laughs> We're going to be doing Dungeons and Dragons. Sorry about missing last night. I was dreadfully ill this weekend. And so we're picking it up today. This is also going to be the new day. We're going to be doing Dungeons and Dragons every day. So you'll see my schedule updated um, to reflect that. All right. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay. All right. So last time on Dungeons and Dragons, the party had uh, carved their way through an entire... Uh, cave system of mushroom men who were offering peace and to join their uh, little collective. Um, the party negged that response and uh, decided to cleave and even kill their sovereign. Not wanting to venture down into the Underdark, they decided to seal off the passageway. And we are left with Mr. Pink's informant and the survivors that they saved. And you guys are just coming off of a long rest. With all the fun new abilities. Yay! <laughs> yeah, so when you guys wake up, um, you guys off actually feel a little different. Um, Bueller, or Bueller, um, Greg, you actually start to feel... You feel you feel different. You feel like ma uh, magical energy is actually pulsing through your body now. Um, I feel like I feel like I want to. Oh, you cut out there. Sorry, I got loud. <laughs> I feel like I have a lightsaber. I want to go to war. <laughs> and um, you Trevor, through through your through your uh, uh, Griffin, through your sleep your studies into the runes of, of the ancient giants have kind of, you finally had that final breakthrough and, and a final epiphany. And suddenly you're able to understand and start to take advantage of many of the, ma many of the magical runes. While Mogwe, instead of getting her ter terrible indigestion from, di from <laughs> ingesting fetid dragon blood, <laughs> Instead, you awake to find yourself somehow stronger. And there's also a... What size does it start at? Is it medium or small? A small drake is resting just outside your shell. It almost uh, materialized out of nowhere. I'm going to give him a little scrickness. I pooped. That one's fine. Uh, anybody's got um, Smith tools or anything available on them? What kind of tool? Smith. No. Might have to go into town for that. Oh, I need. Town is something. two hours away, man. I know. If I need something, I need to carve in some some runes real quick while they're fresh in my mind. I have some. I have Steve's tools. There might be like a pick in there. That's fine. I don't think it has to be embedded deep. Just embedded enough that it's visible. That it's so. How long does it take for you to carve that? Probably do it during morning chores. While well, the rest of us are, you know, burning down the rest of the mushroom, he could probably be doing that. All right. So I'll allow it. First, uh, let's uh, talk to, or first, uh, before you guys, as you guys rouse, um, Mr. Pink's contact, he goes, by the way, my name is Mr. Blue. You. Well, why are you so surprised? Did he, did he think that I have a name like Mr. Pink's? Oh, wow, his associates have names colors. like that. Wait, he, he... As you can probably <laughs> guess. These here barrels are exactly what we need, and thank you for finishing the last batch. However, you're, you're welcome. Here comes the painful part. Painful. Yeah, great. Each one of these individually is worth its weight, er, worth um, gold, right? 
So, we actually will have to use some of them to uh, dispose, we'll say, of the mushroom canopy plaguing this place. Because without it, here, uh, oh, when sunrise starts, if my tracking of time is correct, the mushroom people who are still outside will retreat inwards. And do you know why? Because they uh, they burn up in the sunlight, kind of like a vampire. Exactly. So, and probably because they know that we killed their queen. Um. So, we have only one option. We have to sacrifice about five of the barrels, and we can go. Uh, we can basically be done with this. We have we have to sacrifice half of the barrels. Um, however, give me a nature check, and if you have proficiency with yeah. alchemy, you get advantage on this roll. I have an alchemy proficiency. I have a 14 in nature, maybe. I rolled a 14 plus 2 on my first one, so 16... That's a 17, that's better, so 19. I have a 19 as well. So, both uh, Griffin and Mogwe theorize that um, due to the nature of the structure, it's kind of one living organism, and kind of how fungi um, operate is they... Is, is quite similar to plants. They're a col uh, it's a colony of cells or of uh, structures in which kind of siphon and distribute nutrients. So if you find a central pillar and you're able to make a cut into it, you might be able to apply with a proper tool. You probably need something like a spigot or something to pour after you make a borehole. So you need like a hand drill and a spigot. Um, you could carefully pour one barrel's worth into the central pillar and effectively terminate the whole thing. Well, uh, probably the one next to the fire would be my guess. Those kind of yeah. protect. However, you would need a bore drill and a spigot. Um, we could ask the people in the town if they have uh, a spigot and a board drill. Well, like there's, they spigots have there's, there's spigots on each and every one of the barrels. Don't we have barrels that we've already used? Something bigger. Like, almost like a funnel type deal? With it, a... yeah, you, yeah, so so yeah, it's just something something bigger that you'd be able to transfer the li liquid into that would also... Are you are you talking about like a a, a, a a molasses tap? Almost, yeah. All right. Well, we can at we can ask the guy. He lives here if he knows of anything. Yeah, we've got what three, four town folk. Okay, somebody's got to know something. Uh, roll, roll me an investigation roll. I think I say I think we hey. saved five. Everybody. Everybody one wasn't a town folk, though. One was Mr. Pink's guy. Nat 20. Fucking 14? Seriously? Uh, that was an 8 for me. That Nat 20 should do it, though. Yeah. And, well, uh, definitely a board drill will be in the shop, which is the building right across from here. Oh. However, um... You uh, might want to look uh, as for a tap or a spigot. Um, you might want to have to search one of the houses. Hey, uh, do you guys mind if we search your houses? We're looking for a spigot. By all means, we'd be more than happy to to be done with the with this mess. Uh, cool. Any rage. We, we should have the dungeon map up. By the way, what? In, on, in roll twenty, it's still the dungeon. Oh, yes. 
Sorry, my dumbass didn't even have that up. Any raid. All right. So we'll take you back to. Sorry, give me a second. I'm restarting my my tablet. It's being a little laggy. laggy. Forest Hamlet. And you guys can go ahead and move yourselves. Um, so there's no as you pe um, So the shop is basically the building um, that's right across from the building you guys would be currently in as soon as you exit. Okay. Um, I'm going to the farmhouse. And. Hey, bus. Um, I thought you were gonna put the map on the. I'm working on it. Okay. <sighs> Come on, slow computer. Oops. Do I uh? Do I get advantage because I have my Drake out? Like, can he help me search? Um, well, he probably may not know what he's looking for. for. Yeah, I would yeah. say if this was something I biological. Can how intelligent? Well, okay. What is his intelligence? Um, I believe it's an eight, but he does speak Draconic, and so do I. So we... We have the ability to communicate. I, he's probably never seen it before, so... Oh. Seeing that he's, like, barely alive, yeah, he probably hasn't seen anything. He's magic. Um... I'm double-checking his stats. Okay. Well, he has a plus four to his wisdom, so he can't be s too stupid. Oh, it's an 11. So his intelligence is 11. Okay, so that's actually about average intelligence. You could probably describe roughly what, uh, what the object is. Yeah. So I'll give it to you. Um... I will say because uh, he probably hasn't interacted with an object like this before, we'll put him at a di uh, put him at disadvantage. But um, you can have one extra set of eyes. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Greg. What did you roll? Uh, what was I rolling again? Investigation. Yeah. Uh, Fourteen. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's, it's actually, um, in, in the shop, you actually find numerous, uh, mining equipment. Um, you even find, um, some, some, uh, light armor. Uh, you'll, you find a suit of leather, a suit of studded, as well as, um, some daggers and, uh, some long swords. And then on the, on the very far end, Kind of right next to the counter, you see the 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 drilling equipment. Here is this what we're looking for? Right where, right across from where um, Greg just moved. Across is kind of hard to determine in a square map. Okay, sorry, right, to the right. Building, yeah, on the right. Right, right. Uh, yep, he's standing on it now. Yep. Um, well, the long arm. Uh, the, the 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 light armor and the sword seem all pretty awesome. Yeah, definitely. What kind of light armor, leather or or stud leather or even padded. I said I said leather instead of leather. Well, since you and need one of them, and a long sword, that's both big benefit for you. Yeah, I need the I need to take the long sword and I need to take the studded armor. Okay, so. I might I'm. 
grab a longsword as well, simply so the fact I have a, an actual melee weapon in the in case of. <laughs> okay. You said uh, there's multiple. Right? That. Um. Then I also need to uh, get the drink, the the equipment, the dr search the drilling equipment for a uh, bore drill. Yep, Thanks. so it's right oh, there yeah. on the table uh, amongst the different drilling apparatuses. Um, it looks like once it's set up, you might need to use a little bit more strength to get it to operate, but it seems pretty simple. In the next house, or in the house with Mogwe, what did you roll? Oh, I'll roll right now. Um, am I rolling disadvantage? Um, only the only the Drake has to. You can roll at full advantage or at full or at regular. Just regular roll. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I'll roll for the Drake first. Well, that's a three for him. Okay. And seventeen for me. Okay. So in the house, you find pretty much the same setup as the previous house. There, um, I can't, uh, how much, uh, of the each mineral deposit did I tell you was in each pot? Seven pounds. So you, yeah, seven, seven yeah so you find seven pounds of each of the same, uh, that, that pinkish, uh, rock structure, um, and then you find more of that black substance, uh, black rocks. Black the obsidian. Honor. Yeah. Obsidian. And then... Underneath the, in the, kind of closer to uh, the bench and the table there, um, you find kind of in a in a trash heap. You do find one tap. Okay. Hey, uh, in the, it's a warhammer or a smith hammer or something like that. Something to drive it in through the wood. Um, well, you'll have to roll a, just roll one blanket, uh, uh, investigation check for the, just for the whole area. Josh or everybody? Uh, everybody can do it. Okay. 17. 21. 10. In the first house, um... You find the first ta the original house that you guys searched, right next to the pots. You find a decent sized uh, hammer that you can use to drive it in with. Um, you also, um, you guys didn't uh, pick up the rest of the pink rocks from there, so there you still see the jar of pink rocks in there. Well, yeah, we did I'm, have seven. We had, we had seven pounds of that already that we found in the chest in the in the dungeon, plus seven pounds of obsidian that we took. We haven't taken any of the other stone yet, as far as I'm I'm aware. I, thought I think we might. Have, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this, especially since I woke up, and I'm a lot more interested in it because I actually do recognize it a little bit better as something I have seen um, metal workers work with. Okay. Um, so I'm going to say that this is a valuable commodity that we might be able to get some serious coin for. Okay. I'm going to, uh, I'll, I'll approach the townspeople just because I don't want them to think that we're like cleaning them out, <laughs> leaving them with nothing, no resources. I just want to, I'm going to go up and ask them, um, if it's okay if we take any of these materials or like how much they would need. Um, and if we can have some other than what we found in the dungeon, I don't want to clean them out entirely. So they who's, who's, they most of them pause and and think, but um, two of them speak up and and they say, "Well, you know what? You saved our lives, and honestly, he lost a, a husband and and well, I lost my wife. So you know we're I, I mean." The way we see it, the stuff is cursed. We're probably not, we we won't open up that mine again, and uh, we'll probably just find something a little more safer to trade. Okay. 
Uh, do you have oh. a carrying capacity, a carrying thing, a wagon or something we can use this, utilize this for with? Get it all off your hands. Uh, we can always bring it back. You can we search. Don't have to keep that. We can bring it back. You can search the timber line once all this is done with, but. Um, Let's get rid of this mushroom canopy thing first, guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to go on top of this shop where I'm at, and I'm assuming there's probably a tapered peak somewhere. Um, as soon as. So, again, kind of describing from last time, as soon as it kind of reaches to where the roof would stop, you see, you see the ceiling of mushroom mass, or of fungal mass. Like it's directly overhead, though. Yeah, so so you have about ten, maybe fifteen foot headspace. Is that for all the buildings? That's that's everywhere under the canopy. All right, then I guess I need to be back on the ground because that's too close for my liking for that for that canopy. No. All right. Or move away. What's your strength? Um, well, I have a, I have an 18 for strength, so I have a plus four. I think you need to, I think you need to be the one who drills this bad boy in this tendril that I'm standing next to by the fire. I suppose you need me to hit it with a hammer, too, so we can knock the spigot in after it's all said and done. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, sure. Leave, leave the, leave all the manual labor to the turtle, you know. <laughs> all right, I'm going to be right here with this blind corner. On top of the bench. Mogway is just angrily looking at not Greg's arms and how puny they are. That they can't do anything. And then and then I go ahead and drill. Go ahead and drill a hole. Well, just staring at him the whole time. So yeah, First I'm, of all, my strength is 16 plus 3. And it's still mm. 16. Just say 16. The plus 3 yeah. doesn't matter, really. Yeah, but so I'm, you're still weaker than me. If I see... Anything coming in these three ways, I'm losing an arrow at him. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to the center pillar. If I can get the character to fucking move. I'm going to do it on this side. And I'll go yeah. ahead and start drilling a hole. Hey, is the fire still to... Give me a strength check. Is the fire still yeah. active? Natural yeah. 20. God damn! You're like a human drilling, to, or sorry, a are, turtle drilling machine. You just spin you, it right down like you've been doing it every day of your life. Are you trying to be Paul Bunyan there? Just chop the whole tree down? No, I'm just He's looking at the, the dwarf. Look, looking at the looking at the rogue, just being like, "Fucking, oh, you're strong enough to do this shit." And it's the, like that extra little bit of anger. I'm just plowing right through it, having no problems. It's because he's half dwarf. He's got a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> he's a turtle All that grew right. up in a dwarven cave. So now you're gonna have to install the tap. Dex, strength, intelligence. What? This will be. Um, we'll we'll say a dexterity check to to get it into the hole, and depending on how well you get it in the hole is how many hammer strikes you'll need. All right. Let me get the dex straight. Dex part. Well, oh, yeah, because the rogue doesn't have dex. I think we should let the rogue hold it while I hit it with a hammer. <laughs> no, because you're think that's a bad idea. Purposely break some fingers. Listen, you got to do something to contribute here, okay? I'm watching out for bad people. Duh. I'd like to do an intelligence check on how bad this is going to hurt me if I do all this spigot. <laughs> all right, go for it. Sweet. Nat 20 plus 3. <laughs> you know, especially if, if, if Mugwe, uh, with his strength, is swinging it, especially how quickly he bored through a very that very tough fungal trunk, it probably would hurt. I'm going to use my charisma to make him do it for me. Actually, no, you have Convince a mage him. Hey, just use your mage hand. Yeah. Use my mage hand. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Let me use Mage Hand to hold the tap. All right. Dex save. Or dex check. Dex check. 
So your mage hand holds it in place. Go ahead and uh, yeah, cool. make your dex check to get it in in there. Twelve. Okay. So you do get it in, but it it just like maybe an inch and it stops. All right. I'll look at him go first time. <laughs> Yeah, using my mage hand. Mm. Uh, I'm going to intentionally miss and throw my hammer at Greg. <laughs> of course he would. That's a 21 to hit. <laughs> You're trying I to see kill? the dice. I want to see the dice. Let me see what he actually rolled. Well, I'm full technically, of shit. it's an improvised throwing weapon, so you got disadvantage. Okay. With it's disadvantage. 15. Huh. Yeah, plus 6. Sorry, the fact you only have a new class of 12. Don't worry, you complain too much. I'm wearing my new suit armor. 13, okay. That's a that's a 17 plus 6, so that's 23. Alright, so you, uh... Are you dealing lethal damage here? Or well, is technically this... with disadvantage, it's still 21. Wait! 21 hit points, you've killed me, you ass <laughs> Twenty one to hit, not twenty one damage. So roll a D. It'll be a a D six plus strength. <laughs> uh, wouldn't it be a D eight for a warhammer? It's, it's not a warhammer. It's one side. It's one side smaller. All right. That's a that's a four. I don't know if you can see it. So four. What's your strength? It's a four. Four foot. Four plus six. Well, uh, no, so four plus four. So you got I eight. Guess, so eight. Well, no, it, it, if you have a fighting style, that can change that, but yeah. So eight damage. Yeah, I mean, my fighting style puts it at plus six, but yeah. All right, so you go to, to, to smack it in there, and you quickly turn and loose it at him. And it's boom! Hits him right in the chest. Almost knocks him off the bench. Damage did I I'm gonna, take? I'm gonna need you to uh, roll a uh, concentration check. <laughs> uh, Greg. Concentration. Let me see. What the hell is that? At? Constitution. Is that just a constitution? Yeah, a constitution save. There is no concentration in the V. Er, I'm sorry, yeah, you're right, constitution. Deck or save? Which one am I doing? Um, save. It'll be a save. Three. Your mage hand just sputters out. And it just... <laughs> It, 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 in fact, it, the uh, the tap just kind of sags down a little bit, like another half inch out. What are you rogue doing? Do anything uh, right? <laughs> um, I will go ahead. Is, is he on the ground or is he still standing? He's sitting on the bench. What's he doing? Were you standing or sitting on the bench? Who, me? Yeah. I was sitting on the bench. Um, I'd say he's still upright. He's uh, holding his gut, but okay. I'm uh, I'm gonna walk over, and I'll put my hands on him, and I'll cast cure wounds because I feel bad now. <laughs> Hit him harder than I wanted to. Uh, so that's one d8 plus two. Uh, you get six hit points back. Out of the eight you lost, you get six back. Eight. And then I'm going to say, will you please go hold it with your real hand and not your mage hand? I promise I won't hit you. Are you going to use your charisma and convince the turtle to do it himself? Well, you could try. Uh, go ahead and... Uh... Is that a persuasion check? He would do pre pers persuasion and and oh, what would I have you do? Uh, I mean, it's inner part. 
there wouldn't be checks. Really? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, true. Normally you don't do that. It, I mean, if you guys want to a role play it that way, I will let you, but um, normally for this kind of stuff you don't do that. Well, uh, I, wa I want to hear. I want to hear how you're using your charisma to convince me to do it without you. Well, you're standing next to me right now, right? You're within five feet of yep. me. I would say so. Sweet. I want to cast sword burst on him. Really? Oh my fucking god! <laughs> so good thing we don't earn attacked right now. If we're all gonna have you two aren't gonna have any hit points. <laughs> He's the one who attacked me. I'm just getting him back. Is, is that a save or what? Like, is there? Do you have to roll the hit or what? You're just striking uh, him, right? No, he's yeah, doing a. You doing a what? It's a. It's a Did can you? trip. Uh, On the action page, does it say um, DC to hit, or, or does it say DC to save, or? Bonus to hit. What what spell is All it? All other creatures. Sword burst. It's a cantrip. It's a conjuration cantrip. It creates a momentary circle of spectral blades that sweep around you. All other creatures within five feet of you must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take one d six damage. What's one the dex save? Whatever. What it? Well, his spell casting limit is pretty low, so it's got to be. Yeah, what's your what's your spell save DC? It should say save DC up right at the top under your spells. Save DC is thirteen. Alright. And that's the deck save? Yeah. I had plus three to dex. It's a fifteen plus three is eighteen. All right, so you jump out of the way of his uh, his cantrip and says sword burst. So spectral blades yeah. come out, and, but you jump right out of the way. A little, you're, you're a little agile for being such a large, bulky critter. Yeah, that that's amazing. That's amazing <laughs> how those dice work. I can show you every single dice roll. I have no shame in my dice rolls. All right. So we still have a tap to drive in. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go over and get the. I'll, I'm picking up the hammer. And I'm going back to knock it in. All right, give me uh, an attack roll. Advantage because it's stationary. I mean, the first roll is a seventeen. Okay. Uh, now roll damage. Um, well, so it would be unarmed strike? No, you're using uh, a weapon, technically. Or, yep, it would be 1d6 plus strength. d6 plus strength. That's a 6 plus 4 is 10. Okay, so you drive it. Um, you got a little bit more room to go, so go ahead and give it one more attack roll. <laughs> Natural 1. I miss and hit Greg again. <laughs> nope. You, On accident that time. You smack your own hand. So roll damage. Ah, damn it. Okay. You broke your finger. That's a one plus four is five. Okay, so you deal five damage to yourself and you smack your own talon on your on your uh, little, uh, what do you call it, hoof? <laughs> on your paw Claw. There. I have claw. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Boom! You come down and just... You can feel a surge of pain throughout your hand. Well, we've all smashed a finger before when we're doing nails. Yep. yep. Alright, give me another attack roll. I'm going to totally make that look like I didn't hit myself either. <laughs> Natural 20. Okay, so you send the, the tap straight through the damn thing. <laughs> No, I'm angry because <laughs> smash my finger. <laughs> so with one final heave, you nail it right perfectly into place, and it 
is up it is ready to have liquid oh. poured into it Strength. Any, wait, hold on. Did anyone bring up one of the barrels from the, the basement? The there's, cave? One, there's one in I the... I assume room. that's what Mr. Blue was doing. There And then the fact that there was one of those in the warehouse, too. Was there? Nope, they're all downstairs. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there's raw materials in there. get it. Yeah, I'll go down and that's get what it. Mr. Pink was doing. Oh, you're you're gonna go get it? Okay. All right. So you come, you go down there, and you heft one up. They're they're not as heavy as you'd think. Um, so you're easily able to pick one up and kind of cradling it in two arms. You uh, <laughs> you uh, hoist it and and. Uh, Probably want two people to to hoist it or to start pouring it. So you kind of your best the best you can link the spigots up and you let them start start dripping. Um, over the course of about, I'd say about half hour, it takes to empty the entire uh, barrel. As you pull. As as you pour it in, though, you also you start to see veins throughout the entire structure that just start turning a deep black, and it's and the the central column itself starts to um, shake and almost give way. By the time you finally empty it, the entire thing just powders below you. Okay. Suddenly. The rest of the canopy and the rest of the pillars fall. Is there an overhang by on these buildings? If there is, it's not enough to note. Mm. So, so I want to dive. I want to dive into this building real quick. If shit's gonna fall down on me. Where's the door? There's a door. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing to mine. Okay. I'm gonna just go in the. I'm gonna go over here. Okay. And I'll make sure my Drake is following me. He okay. goes where I go. Okay. So, you kind of peer out the door at, or the windows, and you see just it's almost like very very fine ash just start to rain down. And in fact, most of it doesn't even get to test the ground. It's swept away by the wind. <clears throat> and suddenly. You see sunlight for the first time since yesterday. Jesus balls that took forever, guys. As you peer out, no, 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 no. you see no, no, no. where the per, per, uh, the pink uh, circles are. Yep. You see six mushroom men arise, looking befuddled. It's like they don't attack know where to one. go. I'm going to attack However, that one. However, as soon as the sun rays hit them, they burn up and die. La, 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 la. You'll all burn too. There's You'll no... all burn too. Alright, so go ahead. You guys were wanting a cart, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and do a investigation check into the wood line. Natural twenty. I'm not even shitting you. That's my 15. third one tonight. In a small hollowed out log, you find an entire horse and buggy. <laughs> no, with horse? Kidding. Yeah, with horse. You just pull it out? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Where the fuck did the horse? When the fuck did we get a horse? In the horse pocket. I pulled it out of your ass earlier. <laughs> yeah, okay, turtle man. So you do find a a cart. However, it doesn't appear to be suited for a beast of burden to be hooked up to it. 
It's a wheelbarrow. It's more like one of those uh, medieval um, man carts, like foot where carts? somebody um, hooks it up behind them and and somebody uh, carries the load. So a medium sized creature um, can hold each of the hands of it, handles of it, and carry something behind them, quadrupling uh, their their carry weight while doing okay. so. How much can a lark carry by chance? What? How long can a lar- How much can a large carry? Well, they wouldn't be able to fit in it. It's only suited for a medium-sized creature that's bipedal. Because I was thinking a lark was bipedal, but okay. So a turtle is the largest creature that's bipedal, right? Nope. <laughs> uh, you're a, uh, all of you should be medium in size. For now, I've got the ability to get bigger. Yeah, for now. But yes, it, the whole I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking at the two of you going. Mm-mm, I did the fucking mushroom. <laughs> Y'all can carry that shit. You also got more gold than me. You're welcome. Carry the shit. Well, and I'm yeah, playing, so start walking out of town. <laughs> I'm I'll give him his gold back. My my job's gonna be watching the road for for stuff. I'm flying Overwatch. Oh, I guess it's on the road, and I've already started walking. <laughs> like, nope. So what? We got four barrels left, and oh, all we have we... Uh, we have nine. You have nine yep. barrels. We to had take. ten. We had ten. To- okay, nine barrels left plus all of the. Uh, purple. All of the obsidian. Purple and obsidian. Yep. And well, Mister Blue is coming with us, is he not? Yep. Okay. So yeah, the rogue and Mister Blue can carry the shit back. You're expecting a lot out of a halfling. <laughs> half elf. Oh no, Mister no, Blue is the, a halfling. Mister Blue is a halfling. Oh. Oh, he's small, so he can't do it anyway. Um, oh, I guess it's just on the rogue then. That must suck. Should have helped me with the mushroom. Roman, you're muted. I can't hear you. Is that our marching order? Hmm? What? I'm flying. Well, I, don't... I don't know. Yeah, I don't take orders from turtles. Then I guess it all stays. I'm not carrying it. You don't want to help? You don't get nothing from me. I did help. Might I I suggest you all take turns? Uh If you all don't, those who who end up pulling the whole burden might end up uh, with, uh, might end up exhausted by the time they get back to town. How far is it to town, by the way? So since you guys are not moving stealthfully, you guys could probably make it back by midday. Hours, distance, is what I'm wanting to know. Two hours regular walking until yeah. we started stealthing the last half hour on the way in. So I'd say, well, yeah, we'll, we'll say we'll just round it up to three hours. And you're absolutely certain that a large humanoid could not benefit from this? Yeah, it's, it's too... Uh, 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 a large human takes up, or a large humanoid would take up four squares, and it only sits in a, in one square. No, I believe a large is actually still a one square, one by one. No, a large is two by two. Let me double check that, but 
Yeah, it's, it's it should be a two by two. Large creature. Large, huge, and gargantuan. Okay. Okay. Darn. Well, I thought that the halfling's gonna just but go ahead and beast mode the first hour <laughs> with a natural twenty on his strength check. Jesus Christ! <laughs> anything, anything that I see on Overwatch? Nope. Clear skies. Yeah. All right, so he gets about a third of the way through the leg of your journey, and he looks at you guys and goes, "Well, I'm fu I'm fucking exhausted. There's no way I'm going to be going any further." Um. If I have to go and uh, keep on carrying this, who's next? I might. I kind of want to have Overwatch. I think that's kind of the smartest thing to do, but I might. I could have my dragon watch. Like, he can just do circles around the party. <laughs> can I do a modified Giant's Might ability? Because you won't let me go to a full large creature? Um, let me read the ability. I actually think there is something if, if you cannot go... If I can't go to a full large, the size doesn't change. But I should still have advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws. Okay. Um, yeah, so if you position yourself in there and then activate it, yes, you will maintain your size. Okay. Do to do. Is this a check or a saving? This is a check, right? Strength check. Oh, good thing I got advantage. The first one blows. Second one's much better. Twenty-two. <coughs> All right, so you carry it for the next hour. You feel your strength, though, start to wane about oh, that's fine. an hour in. Who's taking up next? I'll take it. Uh, I'm going to tell Mr. Uh, Mr. Blue, if he wants, he can jump in the cart as well. And uh, he, can, he can pet my new dragon if he wants to. He could use some companionship and learn how to trust humanoids. So if he wants to, he can take a load off since he took the first leg and just chill in the cart while I pull it. I might have to take you up on that. As my, my thank you to you for helping us. Well, I sure do appreciate the, the lot of you uh, saving my arse, so let, let's go, uh, let, let's uh, dispense with the niceties and make uh, make good on our way to, uh, to Pattonville. Okay. That was a 15 plus 4 for a 19. Okay. So you make it all the way to the gates where he taps on your shell to get you guys to stop. And so you guys get outside the gates and he goes, alright, I'm gonna have to we're gonna have to ditch the cart. I'm gonna have to hide this. Um, and we'll I'll have our other associates move it back in. Okay, but we still get the onyx and the thing. So how many of those? How many pounds of each do we get? You should have twenty-one total of each. All right. Uh, take it directly to our artificer, or I could probably tinker around with it and make something with them. Um, if, if you want to tinker on, with some of it, I'm fine to give you that. I mean, twenty-one is seven pounds each of each. 
So, I mean, if you if you want, say, like, half of your own to tinker with, and then I plan on giving all of mine to Ara so that yeah. she can mess I was with it. Well, let's see what the Artificer can do with it. Probably be the best thing. I might be able to assist her and maybe get a uh, monetary benef benefit out of it. Okay. But yeah, sure. see what she's willing to do with them. If it's a super rare metal or if it's super crap metal, she'll tell us. Yeah. And it's midday now, so chow time. Chow on time sounds good. Chow time on Friday. Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. So the party's in about four hours. Yeah, Bye -bye. we uh we already we already cleaned um around our housing and stuff like that. So we we've, we've got everything ready um for people to show up. We uh, the... we, just, we gotta get booze. Do you guys have so we the have to do that? Yeah, you guys have the, the refreshments and the and booze? No, we still have to get that. We the plan was to use whatever funding we got from this mission to go buy stuff, but it is BYOB as well, so everybody should be bringing their own. But we definitely want to have more just to give out to like our friends. Isn't Arya the a general store manager anyway? So she'd have access to rations and maybe wine skins. May not be the best quality. I was thinking about actually going you... into town and buying it in town. Okay. Just to kind of get acquainted with, you know, some of the some of the merchants in town. We want to make them our allies as well. So, if we drop a little coin with them, we're already in good with Ara. I don't want to bother her too much with that. I'd rather give her the gifts of the obsidian and the pink stone, and throw some some gold a merchant's way to get us some alcohol. Try and stay in their good graces. Uh, well, the obsidian is not going to be gift. It's going to be commodity. Yours? Give, if you guys can, give me an insight check. Well, I have an advantage on on insight checks now. And it's uh, sixteen. Well, that one sucked. Give me a second on the second one. Boop, boop, boop. Looks like 13. So all of you kind of gather. Um, the commissary is probably not going to have a lot in the way of booze. Um, there are several purveyors from bars and taverns to, um, I guess, what would be the medieval equivalent of uh, beer goggles or the fridge, a uh, liquor store. Um, a little half um, orc. Guy there that's showing selling some sort of cherry moonshine. If you're, <laughs> giving you a little, a little of that good news, huh? <laughs> good news, everyone. Anyway, um, so but you know, if you went to the commissary for food, you also know it'd probably be the most basic of food, nothing that would impress people. So. If you're wanting, you'd probably want to um, hit up some the, of the local market. The local market. Let's go into the local market. All right. Is that is that what everybody wants to do? Yeah. Okay. We're already in town. We might as well go there first before yeah. we head back. Okay. So you walk into the market. And you see a good gr a grouping of uh, businesses. Let me transition. Um, you guys over there. Oh, hell, where did I put it? There we go. <laughs> So, um, there's a big fountain, a couple, couple pavilions. Yep, so you see two stalls on the western side. Um, 
And they kind of sell produce, nothing big or special. Um, there are, to the south, is that the south, uh, west, you see um, kind of a, a food, uh, I'd say the equivalent of a grocery store. Kind of has more in the way of uh, more refined goods like a bakery would. Um, so pastries and breads, um, cheeses. Whereas the others just kind of sell fruits and vegetables and meats. Anything kind of exotic? Um, so to the east, you have a, a, uh, you have a, 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 let's say a cultural food store. As you walk in, it. This one? Yes. It purports to have um, foods from the far west, which is the home of our Tortol friend. So yes, there's sir. A lot of, uh, there's a lot of fish, um, seaweed, delicacies, um, as well as uh, various... Um, Fix our various uh, edibles of that of of that nation. So well, bizarre, I'm definitely gonna go in there and and buy it buy like an assortment or a, like a, a charcuterie board is worth, if you will. Okay. Like worth of just delicacies from my home. Okay. Is there uh, fish and grain and and stuff like that for mine? Yeah, so between the different shops, you can you can pick up. Uh, well, I mean, this the the town you're in belongs to the nation that you come from, so it would be very easy to find. Um, kind of what you're looking for. Okay, like some raw, some some good Alaskan salmon and 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 uh, caviar, maybe. Would be kind of fishy. I uh, would be um, very much in, in in my dinner experience with it being fish eggs and, and birds. Oh, we're eating bougie tonight, huh? Well, it is a, a party. We're trying to impress everybody. Yeah, we got a charcuterie board over here, and I'm gonna have um, good Alaskan salmon. What's in this building oh, to the yeah. north? That is a pub. Okay. Oh, is there any elven? Is there any merchant here dealing with elven or high elf things? To the southeast, there is. Uh, let me mark it here. It'll be this one right here. Um, of there are some. There are some elven pastries. And some fine elven cured meats. Well, Excellent. I'd like to spend ten gold on uh, fine elven meats and pastries. And yeah, how about um, exotic-ish fruits and vegetables? I'm pretty sure that'd be pretty good too. In this case, maybe pineapples, mangoes, papayas, kiwi. For for, for the most part, um, unless it's something. That I've already said that's about what you guys have for your selection. However, they do point you to the bar. Um, if you want Pattonville cuisine, cook to order, ready to order. So how much? You guys, how much do each person? You guys how much have to stop by the pub. That, that, that's okay, what. I'm gonna, how much do each of us have walk to pay for a decent spread? Um. We'll say ten gold for something that would feed about uh, fifteen to twenty people. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna go into the pub. I can't. There's no. My avatar's not even on here. None of us are. But, uh, no, we're, no. we're we're not we're not in combat. So just tell me where you're going, and uh, oh, it's I'm more go for your pub. visual representation. Okay. Sure. I'm gonna go into the pub and talk to the pub uh, the bartender. Hey, man. So, um, you turn, uh, the, what seemed to be 
a man um, turns around, and it's actually a hulking half orc female. It's ma'am. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what can I get you for today? I use that for everybody. What's up? Uh, I was wondering if you have any elven food. Well, down to the th southeast is about all we'll find. All you'll find there, but I do have some fine orcish food if you're interested. Wild what boar needs? wrapped in wild boar bacon. That sounds delicious, actually. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but what else? What do you got to drink around here? Well, we have the finest. Ale, we have, well, uh, kind of basically, what are you looking for? We got ale, we got mead, we got the hard stuff. We even have the deadly two step knockout or two step goodbye. As fun as that sounds, I'm just looking for some elven whiskey. Ah. Okay. As, as fun as the two-step knockout sounds, I just want a cask of Elven whiskey. All right, okay. So she she kind of looks around and to see if anybody else is paying attention, and she goes, "I see you're uh, appreciative of uh, some of the more finer stuff." Yes, ma'am. Got something in here that uh, might you might be interested? A full bottle of Evergleam brandy. Mm. Some say a bit of the Everglow, the Feywild, is distilled in each bottle. Sounds perfect. Tell you what. It's costing me a fortune to get my hands on. How about... And she reaches behind her and she stabs three knives into the counter. I'll throw you for them. And it'll be on the house if you beat me. Uh, mm, I'll take that bet. Sure, not there. Not. True. Uh, yeah, we're not in there. This yeah. is just a rope. I'll take that. Okay. So you have three rolls. And you're going to aim at the... So you're actually going to be set up um, on the line here. Throwing out towards these knife boards. And basically, um, how high you roll is how well you score. Okay. On a 20? So just go ahead and roll three d20s. Add your dexterity and your proficiency bonus. That should be just... Um, you should have a two. Everybody should have a two right now. Yeah. Yep. See. Seventeen. Okay. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Seventeen plus my two proficiency is nineteen. Okay. So nineteen. Twenty-three. Yeah. Twenty plus. Plus three. Nice. Nice. Okay. And a 10. So 12. Oh, 13. 13, sorry. Pretty good rolls for two of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So you hit one just outside the bullseye. The second one, straight dead on. And the third one, you know, kind of outside. So. Right around this time is when I want to walk into the bar. I've got all my other stuff. I'm just going to okay. walk in. So you walk see in what's going on. to see Greg just 
you know, like I said, just outside the bullseye, bullseye, and then just outside, you know, kind of on that outer ring, or not quite on that outer ring. Um, and you see this orcish female look at him and go, huh. All right, well, watch this. I've been doing this for years. First one. Whiffs, and you see this knife just ping, 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 ping. Second one. Lands solidly outside the, the bullseye. And the th last one. Ting, right on the outside edge. So you actually whooped her ass. I'm bad for, you know, doing it your whole life. I've been doing this for 70 years. She kind of is uh, a little ashamed and kind of... Just, oh, you know, no, no, no. Don't be ashamed. Just, you did all right. Just take it. <laughs> well, thank you. I want to leave her two pieces of gold, though. Well, that was a fun game. I want to leave her two, two pieces of gold. Fun game. Well, if you ever want to practice when I'm not on my on a bad day, feel free to come by. You're always welcome in, in my tavern. Thank you. I'm going to approach the, the tavern keeper there. Be like, so I take it you're in charge of this place. Oh, I am? Just wondering if you can help me with a uh, relatively large order. I'm looking for some rum, some mead, and uh, probably a little bit of ale. I'm trying to trying to get enough for about 15 to 20 people. I'd like to have equal shares of each. Uh, what what would you recommend? I trust your judgment. You you've served the people here locally. What what do they like? What's good? Well. The local meat's pretty good, uh, or the ale is pretty good. It's brewed by um, Eric Cocker Brewmasters. Um, however, I would not look too far in how they make it. Just enjoy the drink, it's good. The okay. Vikings up north make a hearty mead. It's expensive, but it's well worth it. When it comes to hard liquor, well, the dwarves have that and that or have whiskey in spades, and I got rid of my, the last elven booze that I had to that fella over there. Okay. And she points to uh, Greg. Thank well, you, ma'am. Seeing as uh, seeing as he's already got that, we won't worry about the uh, the elvish stuff. Looks like he's got that under control. Um, how much of, are we talking for for the other three? She. Well, give me a charisma check real quick. Yeah, because I don't have any fucking <laughs> modifier to have. Fifteen. Okay. She. She kind of. She kind of squints at you and she goes, "How about this?" 20 gold, I'll give you, I'll give you the basic stuff. Bump that up to, to 30 gold, I'll give you the mead, the, the whiskey, and some, some ale. And I'll even toss in some turtle rum to go with it. I went over to where Mugwe is and I talked to her nicely and say, listen, can, is there any way we can have a deal? You and I had a lot of fun throwing knives here. Is there any way that we can have a little bit of a deal here? Hold on. I see uh, you, you like competition, right? You like, to, you like games? Like tests of skill? You, uh, you, you may have had an off day with, uh, with throwing darts. How's your arm feel? Care for a little uh, arm wrestle? <sighs> Ryan, I think you're muted. She, I'm not sure. Uh, give me a persuasion. 
fuck. <laughs> Bad at these. Fuck, ten. Uh, unfortunately, I will only lose once a day. <laughs> if so... I let you win, will you give me a discount? <laughs> I think I'm being generous enough by give, comping you a free bottle. Well, I'll be honest with you. I don't have 30 gold, so I have 14. What will 14 gold get me? Ooh. I can set you up with some of the ale and... Um, and uh, I can give you some. I can give you some of the whiskey too. Okay, that's a deal. I have fourteen gold for fifteen people. That should get everybody freaking completely smashed. That's the goal, is it not? <laughs> well, the fact that the average day's wage is two copper pieces. It's a it's a college town. They jack up the prices on everything. Okay, fine. Put them at a silver each. Well, that and you're also thinking of buying in quantities to supply multiple Much bigger. people. Yeah. So you get a bottle of each. $20, $30. That's that's insane for fit for $1,500 or something like that. 1500 gold. I have no charisma proficiency bonuses. I am not going to be able to haggle. <laughs> it's just not in me. I can't so, do it. Listen. She hands you off. Uh, I, oh, go ahead. I want to talk to the barmaid and so for the fifth, if he throws in his 14 and I give you five gold pieces, can we get the full liquor that you said for 20 pieces? By all means, yes. Yeah, if you have enough okay. gold. Then yeah, I, I will give the five gold pieces if Mugwe gives his 14 so that we can get the liquor that you require for the party. Okay. I'll give her 14. Okay. And I give her five more. All right. So she takes all the, all the coin and hands you goes in goes into the back and fishes out a bunch of crates and <laughs> sets them on the uh, counter. Have fun, you kids. Thanks, babe. <laughs> By the way, would you like to pet my dragon as my drake just like comes through the door? So she's like mid slap. <laughs> and then she sees there's act an actual drink. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna even go down to the south southeastern building and buy some uh, elven breads and meats. Okay. Or did I do that already? You did that already. Oh yeah, never mind. If I did that already, I'm good. Okay. Um. So yeah, she she's like, I was about to slap the shit out of you. <laughs> but yes, I would love to pet such a such a um, exotic creature. And I'll, I'll I'll look at my dragon, whose name I haven't finalized yet. Uh, I'll pick him up and just like hold him out to her. You you can cuddle him if you want. You can hold him, or if you just want to pet him, he'll stay right here. He won't hurt you. Um, I should say. Right now, he just looks like a basic um, dragon, but when I summon him next time, he's going to be looking different, because I can modify his color, I can do whatever I want, as far as his look. Wow. Right now, he's just basic. Yeah. Okay, so she pets him, and uh, you guys walk out of the tavern, and is there anything else you'd like to do in the shopping district? Not that I can think of. What were the pavilions you said? Pavilions. These two pavilions right here. Oh, the they're they're produce tents. Okay. Uh, uh. Okay. Are there any? Uh, is this all? Is this all a food place, or is there actually other merchandise here? Uh, it's pretty much just food. Uh, there's a couple houses. 
But that's it. Okay. I think we probably spread the wealth around enough. Which sounds like we went to most of them. Alright. Alright, so you make your, you guys make your way back and you start to get ready for the party. and um, Let's go talk to Ar- Arya. Ara? Yeah. Yeah. I'm bringing all seven pounds of my obsidian and all seven pounds of my pink stone. Yeah, so we got 42 pounds of stuff for her. Where are you going to look for her at? Her normal... Well, it's her off day, but... Yeah, probably still the commissary. Alright, so you uh, go to the commissary and... um, it, It does... It's hours are... It should be open. As you look at the, the hours that are posted on it. However, you see a note um, that's kind of tied to the sign. And it reads, I'm getting ready for the explicit, explicit thing. <laughs> you all are going to it too, so you shouldn't be here. Okay. <laughs> Is there, like, housing anywhere near ours? Or on the way to our housing? So, yeah, I mean, you guys are kind of at the very end of every, of, of the line of dorms. Um, so, kind of on the walk up to you where you guys have, you guys have, like, a set of, like, houses or shacks or whatever you want to call them. Um, but on the way up, there's actual, like, dormitories that are, like, tiered buildings. And that's where, like, all the the traditional students and the the traditional upperclassmen, yeah, live. yeah. You also the pass uh, pass uh, some more swankier um, places that one would have to pay for. Uh, so they're like the premium housing. They're kind mm. of more like your penthouse, like New York penthouse kind of thing. Ah. Uh. I don't think we ever asked her what, what dorm or anything she lives in. Nope. Well, we'll see her at the party. We can show her. Yeah. We can take a sample of them at least. We don't necessarily have to take all 42 pounds. Oh, the party's yeah. going to be happening at our place, so... Yeah. She's coming to us anyway. We can, we can just store it, and then when she gets there, we can talk to her about it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yep. Good plan. Mm-hmm. Um, then I guess I'm going to make my way back to, like, our little housing area, um, kind of get the, like, the stuff that I bought laid out, all the alcohol laid out, um, work on, uh, clearing a space for a little stage, maybe a little fighting pit area, just trying to set up some different stations where people can do or watch, be entertained by different things. Okay. So, as you guys set up, uh, this kind of goes on throughout the day, the rest of the day, and it starts to, um, oh. it starts to uh, get closer to uh, party time. The first couple of groups show up, and they are the the. Uh, uh, popular gr- girls uh, that you guys invited. Um, along with them is some a group of guys. Um, you want to give me an insight check real quick? Twenty-one. Twenty. Give me a second. First one's a 16. Second one is a lower. So 16 is my high. Okay. And yeah, it's a lower. So you guys, guys kind of glean that these are kind of like your frat bros. They're kind of like the gender opposite of the 
of the popular girls. So they're the jocks. Yeah. Kind the of. Jock leaders. It's hard to have that kind of analog in a in a school where everything is based almost based around physical activity, but yeah. So there's a human, a dragonborn. Oh, two humans, dragonborn, and an elf. Uh, um, the elf already has his nose in the air and everything, but um, one of the he, uh, humans and the dragonborn um, have above their heads a, a long board that almost looks like a table, while the other human is carrying a bunch of cups, and uh, he walks up to... Um, he walks up to Griffin and goes, "Yo, man, can we set up a ale pong table or an ale ball table?" Um, as we long as you don't get too uh, rowdy, I don't see much of an issue with it. It is a, it is a, a mixer. You guys should try playing, man. My buddy got or my buddy uh, calf here. He's a fucking champ. Who's calf? He's one of the humans. He's the human who's carrying the uh, helping carry the, the the table. What's the half elf do or what's the elf doing? He's just kind of walking to the side of everybody. Like I said, his nose is kind of in the air. He's kind of thinking he's above a lot of what's going on. I'm Elf Elf and I talk. I speak Elfish. Hey man, I talked to the Elf. What are you doing, man? You look like you don't want to be here. Ugh. It's bad enough that I have to be here and a half-breed is talking to me. That's high half-elf. High half-elf. High of half is still half. Hmm. It's funny, because uh, you're not even... Uh, half a zero is still zero, bitch. How droll. And he keeps walking off. What a bitch. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the, the, the first human goes, Hey, don't let him... Don't let him uh, get to you. He's a... Uh... A bitch? Yes, yes he is. I have seen more personality on a goat's ass. I would call him an asshole, but I think that's almost redundant. But that'd be insulting to assholes everywhere. <laughs> See we try to we try to get him to loosen up and but uh Xena, he's kind of I think it's cause he's got a girl's name. I don't know. You know Pretty sure you can shove a piece of coal up his ass in about ten days. You get fucking good diamonds. Hey, I shout back to the elf. Hey, you want some coal for your asshole? He doesn't acknowledge that you've spoken to him. How what, are the, uh, what are the popular girls doing at, at this point? They're kind of uh, so re so. They're kind of looking at all the different foods and kind of. Um, kind of marveling at the different uh, sweets and treats and stuff and um, and uh, kind of uh, looking through the different liquors and and uh, yeah. just Anybody kind of checking out the scene okay I'm gonna I'm gonna just walk over to him say hello um you know, welcome, welcome them to the party and such. Um, explain kind of the food, at least my bit of the food spread to them. Um, let them know if they need anything just to come and find me, or they can find my dragon who's still just following me around. So if you speak Draconic, he, he can talk to you, but if you need anything, you can tell him to come find me, and I'll, I'll come over and help you. I shout and to the hot girls, Hey baby, have you ever had your asshole licked by a turtle in an overcoat? See things like that. You need you need help with things like that. You let me know. If that little wizard guy shows up that's been giving you problems, you let me know. Oh, so that's then like that, that's that like an uh, an example. <laughs> you mean like the one that we got kicked out? 
Well, he hasn't been kicked out yet. We, we're working on that. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a plan. Plan and play. Yeah, we have ha we have twelve percent of a plan. We have half, according to that stupid elf. Half of twelve percent. We have six percent. What a cunt. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um is a vowel. Actually, um is just a syllable. Um. Yeah. You also notice. Yeah, it's a word. At the same time, you see Lenise Hopeful, the tiefling. That's so, my lady. Hey. However, in tow, she has a dwarf, a human, and a dragonborn. And she goes, oh my god, this looks so cool. I hope you don't mind, but I brought some friends. We actually just kind of formed our own group. We study magic. That's actually how I learned um, the message ability. Um, yeah. That's cool. Well, welcome. We're happy to have you. Uh, feel free to go look at all the food, uh, get yourself a couple of drinks. Uh, looks like those guys over there are setting up some kind of drinking game. Um, we're going to have some, some music, uh, maybe some other entertainments. We've got a fight pit that's going to be set up. Uh, yeah, just go meet other people, hang out, have a good time. Uh, we'll see you later. If you need anything, come find me. And she bids you do, and she kind of waves her friends, and they uh, they start to uh, kind of mingle with all the other guests. In next comes Era. Era has um, a bunch of people in tow. You kind of it's kind of obvious that these are kind of the the nerds. What's up, Era? This is this is. I'm gonna go talk to her. I'm gonna. Hey, Era. Oh, if it isn't my favorite, a bunch of fucking people on the, on this goddamn academy. How do y'all well, fucking do it? Well, goddamn right. <laughs> hey, We're doing great. We I brought these you. fucking shut-ins with me because I thought they could use some fresh air. Hope they hope you don't mind. Oh, of course, more the merrier. Um, when you get time, not necessarily now, uh, we found something you might be interested in. But again, when you have time. But no, just enjoy yourself. We got food from. She, from she just puts all. her. She, you can tell she's already been drinking, and she puts a finger up to your beak. Shh. What comes tomorrow? Tonight we fucking party. <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> right, I like her. Um, <laughs> well, anybody else coming through the door? Um. So you We're see some other squad. people look like looks like they're waiting for other people to join them. Um, you do get the impression though that word is kind of taken not taken farther, um, taken it's it's basically spread a lot farther than you maybe thought. Okay. So there's many people from your from your class that are starting to show up, and in fact, as the party. Uh, kind of builds out it spills out into basically that open air common area between your guys' shacks okay we need to rein this in so we don't get in trouble by the teachers i'm uh i, I will stick around the outside um my, my dragon and i will uh just kind of pull pull 360 security walk around make sure nobody gets too rowdy and uh try and keep it contained if you will Alright. So, um, Bus, will you allow juggling by a sleight of hand or an acrobatics? Acrobatics, yeah. So I'm just gonna grab, um, some apples, start to do some juggling. Okay. So, um, 19. All right, so you start to juggle, and you actually draw a decent-sized crowd. Um, and you kind of leave a good impression on everybody around you um, as you show off your dexterous abilities. 
Um, in fact, they uh, they ask you to up the ante. I'm listening. They ask you to start uh, start juggling um, some daggers. I can do that. Now, I don't know. I, I challenge somebody. No, they just want to be entertained. They're not wanting a, you know, they're not wanting to match you. They just want to see if you can do it. Uh, thirteen. Not quite as well. Still well, pretty decent. First, they're gonna toss the the, not, the daggers to you. So, this I will have a sleight of hand. Okay. First dagger, sleight of hand. Yeah. I drop it. Seven. All right, so you're not quite ready, so it sails by. All right, the next one. Give me a slight hand. Come on, decent roll. Another seven. Really? The second one goes by. Last chance. A ten. All right. So, yeah, it was kind of a softball toss. So, uh, yeah, so you're juggling one knife in with the rest of the balls. Um, we'll just give you another plus one. All right. So while that's happening, Mogwai and Greg, you guys kind of survey out. And you notice that there's some guys around a cask of ale. Um, they look like mages, which is rather odd. Um, none of them look like big beefy guys who would normally be doing, you know, messing with a big big old keg. You also see that your little arena has been converted into a dance floor. And then you also see the guys playing ale, ale ball. Oh, I'm totally going for the dance floor and showing off my moves. All right, give me a perform check. More acrobatics. 20. Hard 20. Whew. All right. So you burn up the dance floor. In fact, you um, you show your moves, and as as the music's going, you kind of – everybody actually kind of clears out to give you space to just what, – what kind of dancing are you doing? Um, hell. I am I don't know what kind of dancing like popular dancing. It's just our freestyle break dancing. <laughs> sure, freestyle break dancing. <laughs> so I somehow magically pulled card, uh, cardboard out of nowhere, <laughs> laid it on the floor, and started freestyle break dancing. <laughs> so, uh, as you as he's doing that, I'm going to use my thaumaturgy cantrip to make it sound like just everybody's going crazy. Like, just increase the level of chants and claps and hoots and hollers. Just to draw more attention to what he's doing. Alright. Give me another perform check with advantage. Perform check. 18. Alright, so yeah, so... With the thaumaturgy and everything going off, <clears throat> you attract quite a bit, quite a big crowd of people who are cheering. Uh, in fact, some people ha have been pulled away from Trevor's little uh, juggling to see what what the fuss is about. So as the as the music dies down and the next song goes up, you guys look around and see that there's still people playing ale pong or ale ball. And uh, there's people once again gathering around the, the, the beer keg. I'm going to go over to the beer keg just to see what's going on. All right. So one of them walks up to see you and goes, Hey, you ever had a mage stand before? <laughs> I knew this is what was going Yes. No. No, never heard of it. What do we, oh. we got to do? All right. So you take this thing and you put it in your mouth 
and I use my mage hand to push the beer down and force it into your mouth. The longer you can hold it, the better. Also, you must be upside down standing on the keg. Or egg handstand stand, on, egg on the keg. Alright. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, fuck. Missed opportunity on the dance floor. I could have went into my shell and you could have like, been breakdancing on my shell. God damn it. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> all right. Anyway, all right. So. I'm in. I'm going to need first an acrobatics to get yourself standing on the keg. Hand standing. Okay. Seven. How much have you been drinking? <sighs> so, you been drinking. so you get up sick. there and you just slip right off. <laughs> Maybe he's a uh, bit too big for it, huh? All right, all right, we'll give you one you more chance. Yeah, let me do. It. Let me go again. That's much better. That's a twenty-one. Okay, so you get yourself positioned. And they hand you um, a glass tube, and you kind of fit it in your mouth. And the tube goes, sh you look up, and the tube goes straight into the, the, the barrel, or the cask. And, oh. <clears throat> or down, I guess, to you it's up. Yeah. Suddenly, you see four of the mages gather around, and they you see them. Do the little mage hand spell, and you see them lift, or them make this lifting motion, and suddenly, almost as a shock, the beer just starts going into your mouth. Give me a Constitution saving throw. Oh shit! Uh, okay. Be good. Be good. Be good. Uh, what is that? That's a nineteen plus one for a twenty. All right. So. You're good. So six seconds go by, and you hear everybody counting: one, two, three, four, all the way to six. Roll me another one. Sixteen. All right. So, um, so you get to about. You get to about, uh, or no, yeah, you keep you keep going. So, you're still able to hold it down. You almost feel like you let that one go, though. Almost. And you hear him keep counting all the way up to twelve. Give me another roll. Thirteen. You can't handle it anymore. You throw yourself off to escape. And he cough and hack and feel it a little bit un under it. You're not quite drunk, but you're you're feeling it. Look at him and say, "How'd I do?" And I kind of like wobbled just a little bit. <laughs> you did better than most of us. Most of us couldn't even spend six seconds. I'm surprised we can still mage hand at this point. <laughs> He's a turtle. He drinks for a living. He lives in a swamp. <laughs> well, not a swamp, but he's lived in a swamp at one point. Hey, um, so the beer pong, is it single beer pong or double beer pong? So, it is two partners. You have six okay. cups. Alright, I'm gonna go ask Arya if she wants to go beer pong with me. Yeah, buddy. Get it. She goes, you want me to throw a cork ball? <laughs> All right, I'll give it a go. He's right. drunker than a skunk, dude. You're going to not win. <laughs> I play better when I'm drunk, so... Yeah. This you, you never know the How power would you of whiskey. <laughs> this is for a ranged 
attack roll, or would this be considered an acrobatics check? So, yes, you will have... Um, this will be a ranged attack roll. Um, so but the, it's not improvised. It's not improvised. Well, it doesn't matter. Honestly, it doesn't matter because both of you would be improvised if that was the case, so we're just going to neg that. <clears throat> so, just uh, dexterity and attack roll. Dexterity press proficiency. So you have... One, think of it as 20. a... So, hold on. Think of it as a pyramid. You have... Yeah, I know. I'm, so you're going to have to call your shot. Hmm. Uh. Number one for 22. 22. You sink it. And... Oh, we have Calf and Prechen and the Dragonborn. So, Calf going ahead and slams it. He's fine. Um, so, now it's his turn. He goes... Um... Back, right, and he misses. Now it is Ara's turn. Oh, she misses. And it is Prechen's turn. He goes front, and he sinks it. So Trevor, go ahead. You pound the first shot. Okay. Tech, give me a con. Give me constitution. Um, working on it. Nat one. No, sorry, no, never mind. Twelve. I wrote this <laughs> a seven. Sorry, they, they look very Ooh. similar on this thing. thing. Alright. Twelve. It's true. So, this round, you're good. You, it tastes very familiar. It's it's air, air cocker and ale. So you're right. kind of expecting the bite. Negative right. number two. I hit a 16. So, uh, okay. So that will sink it. Gretchen, he's good. So now, um, Calf will snipe out the back middle, which he does. Um,. And we'll have Era take it. She's fine. Era throws. Misses. And... He'll miss the back row, so now it's back to Trevor. Number three. Number three. Go ahead and roll. Sixteen. Hit. So, oh no. So Calf will be thrown at disadvantage now. <laughs> Failed on a con save. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, he he goes, alright. Number two. Throws it. Tink. Falls off. Next one is uh, Arrow. She misses. She looks at you and goes, Sorry, you're going to be after one carry in this match. <laughs> However, Petchin actually sinks number two. So, Trevor, drink. Twenty. You're fine. Damn. Now it's your roll. Number four. Okay. Oh, I'm with it. Nat one. All right, Tink falls off the cup. They miss. Arrow. Hot damn, actually gets a nat 20. Wow. It's kind of a waste of one. But she snipes off that. Uh, 
back uh, number four. And oh god, Petchin's down for the count. <laughs> So Petcha takes his and... Oh, you've never seen a dragonborn vomit this much. In fact, I'll, you think he's I'll a... Go over and... he's, he's, a, he's a gold dragon, so you thought, you know, he was about ready to acid spray. No, it's just... Fire. Fire. For gold. Fire for gold Fire. dragons. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so... I'm gonna go over and I'll I'll take the I'll take the dragon's place, really. But I can't let you drink no more. Uh, even with a puke and rally, you gotta go sit down. I'll take over for him. All right. So go ahead and uh. toss for him. Am I throw uh, rolling for him? Yep. What ones have they taken out already? So you have uh, number three, number four, and number uh, six. Yeah, I'm gonna go for number six. All right. Six is uh, gone. What... Sorry? Just well, roll your, uh, your dex plus your proficiency. Dex plus proficiency? Yeah, be like a ranged attack roll. 24. That's a 19. You hit it. So, all nice. Right. Oh. She's at disadvantage now. Yeah. That next so one, it hit thing? her. It hit her. So, yes, it is uh, top of the turn order. It is. But both right, of you are go. down to two cups. Let's go number five. All right. Let's see it. Uh, 25. You hit nice. it. Nice. Um, that'll be. You know, since you're the new guy, go ahead, Mugway. Pound that uh, Eric Cochran ale. Yeah. Con save? Con. Yeah. 19. All right, you're good. So. Uh, he's at disadvantage, though. Uh, so, yeah, he fail or he goes to throw it and take, falls off the cup. It's okay. Eric's turn. With disadvantage. Mm. Yeah, she misses. Now it's uh, Mugway. Oh. Ooh, that's bad. That's, uh, that's an eight. All right. Miss Tink, right off the cup. Game point. Let's see it. Nine. Oh, bounces right off the six. All right, so double seventeen. So he actually sinks the um, what is that? The three. Yeah. And Era rallies and does not get more wasted. Nice. All right, it is down to single cup each. Era's turn. Era at disadvantage. She bubbles out. Fucking game, fucking point. And it's a sale. And it actually huh. hits Bogway on the face. <laughs> Just gonna stand there and kind of turn my head and just look at her, right? Hey. <laughs> I was real close. You're doing real good. <laughs> All right. Um. So it'll be Mogwai's turn. Okay. I'm gonna yell Kobe and shoot my shot. Oh shit! Hold on. That's uh. Twenty-one. You sink it. And Trevor, take the last shot. I'll give you a rebuttal. Okay. Trevor, go for a rebuttal. 
Well, I have a 16 for the con save. Rebuttal. Let me do that real quick first. Well, you're not Continue. taking the shot if you... If you uh... Yeah. Nat 20. Nice. <clears throat> your rebuttal hits two... Uh, uh, your, yeah, your rebuttal sinks it right on in. So you guys are still alive. He rolls. Oh, fucking... This time it bounces, it, it actually, it sails off, but misses the cup so widely it actually sticks in Aaron's hair. <laughs> Aaron sinks the next, the next one. And she goes, fucking rebuttal that shit. Who, who do you want to have rebuttal on your team? Oh, boy. Oh, me. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Definitely me. 23. It's an 18. You hit it. My turn? It is. Eighteen. You sink it. Fuck. Uh, now it has to be the other guy. Yeah. With disadvantage. <laughs> and he misses it. Yep. So, Calf has lost, and you guys win. However, I will give you bonus points for rep with them for Mogwai stepping in. Nice. Calf was one of the nerds, or is he one of the frat guys? Uh, yeah, yeah, one of the bros, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Greg, while this is going down, you start to see... Um, you, start, you start to see... You see uh, Zena, the elf from earlier. He's starting to kind of... It looks like he's arguing with uh, one of the... Um, a couple of the nerds. Uh, <clears throat> the human and uh, the dwarf. It looks like... Okay. He's about to get. He's he's up in their face. Um, give me a perception check, real quick. Fifteen. You see behind the nerds is um, a half the half elf or half, sorry half orc female uh, from the popular group Rawak Flamethrower. Mm -hmm. And they, they seem to be, sh like, shielding her from this guy. From the elf? Um, from, from the elf. From the elf asshole that, you know, that so I've been it, asked. Basically sounds like an unwanted um, hitting on or some or a braidment. Yep. So. so I kind of jump and tumble athletically between the nerds and the elf. Yeah, so they're in mid conversation. Uh, go ahead and give me a, a, a an acrobatics roll. He wants athletics instead. Is what he or, says. Yeah, sorry. Twenty four, baby. All right, so yes, you tumble right between them. They're in mid. You know, one of them's in mid. Fuck you, and I don't know where you just pop up in between them and you startle them. Actually, whoa! Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey! What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> the dwarf goes, Oh, what the hell? Where did you come from? I'm fucking knee high and I didn't even see you. <laughs> I've been here the whole time. If you, I've kind of been here the whole time, but, uh, what, what what's going on here between, uh, my buddies here and, uh, Diamond Ass over here? Well, it seems his majesty... 
has a stick up his ass about about people who aren't who ain't exactly like him. He goes. Yeah. He looks and rolls his eyes and says, "I have no problem with you." I'm gonna cut you off right there, fuckface. <laughs> Elf, you've been rude to pretty much everybody since the fucking moment you walked in here. You're gonna turn around and walk your ass right out the fucking door. Give me an intimidation check. That's okay. 21. That works. That does work. So he clenches his fist, um, and... Actually, I actually need to see what class he is. Um, Probably a bard. <laughs> Oh, I had some weird ass combinations in here. I'm pretty sure I was drunk when I put this together. <clears throat> so Fair enough. you should be. Um, I was drunk when I wrote my character. Where the fuck is he? You didn't have him by race? Organized? Oh I have him organized, just not I have him organized by class. Ah um, oh, fuck, I can search for him. Well, I think it's safe to add him to the to the enemies list. Oh fuck! Okay, never mind. Yeah, so he's a wizard. So. Oh shit. Um. So you effectively. I was gonna say if he was like a fighter or strength based class, he'd smash his bot or he'd smash his bottle in his hands. But he tries. He feebly tries to crush the bottle in his hands, but he can't quite do it. Um, he just <laughs> just throws it on the ground and and stomp, storms off in a uh, in kind of a, an angered angered fit. Yeah, I shout after him. Don't let the door hit you with a good whatever lord you fucking worship split you, you fuck face. Um. So as I keep my eyes on him as he's walking away, just to make sure that he doesn't like try to cut around and like come back. I want to make sure he's actually leaving. Yeah, you I know. Turned around. I turned around to the half-orc uh, hot chick. <laughs> hey, sorry about that. Said she probably never thought you'd say. <laughs> half-orc hot chick. Uh, <laughs> this one's not as gruff as the other one um, that you met in the, in the tavern. She goes, Bella... Thank you. I don't know what his problem was. I just... I just asked him if he wanted a, another drink. I thought we were getting along yeah. quite nicely. Stick his asshole firmly up there. The next forecast is just the Sorry about that. Well, I said the legs off. <laughs> um, so did did he leave or is he oh, yeah. still like creeping around? He's like you don't know where he went. He disappeared off into the darkness. It looked like he was heading towards the dorms, but he was pretty pretty drunk. Okay. Yeah. Fucking. I'm gonna. What time um, is it? Yeah. That's a good question. What time um, is it? It is 9.45, so we'll go... No, ahead. I meant in-game. Oh, in-game. In game. In game. So it's about... It's getting on closer to midnight. Party's starting to wind down. All right, so yeah, we probably need to say last call. Start putting stuff away, cleaning things up, making sure everybody's safe and sober. I'm going to see if that, um, if that purple tiefling is still there. And we didn't have the, element, the elementalist... Gnome or halfling come in, did we? You guys, um, you guys, uh, had that listening device, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, why don't you do a perception check? Because I'd say you guys are about halfway through the night. I mean, 14. Uh, the ten. I didn't make it. I think you guys probably spend the rest of the night doing your whatever you're trying to. I get eleven. 
Well, uh, he's pretty easy to spot in the crowd despite his size, so you guys easily spot him. Um, so he's actually over by... Um, over by... Um, a group of... Uh, he actually somehow found Era and a few of the... Um, of the nerds, like, um, <clears throat> and he's chatting them up, trying to, trying to, you know, work his moves. And it's not just the the, the nerds. There's a few others, um, but it's mostly females. And you can see this look on Eric's face of I'm even, I'm fucking drunk, and I need you, and I, even I know to to have you to get him the fuck away from me. I'm go over, um, just kind of get over in the mix of that group. I don't know who Eric gave the listening device to, but at this point, everybody's a little drunk. It may be a little too late to put any kind of plan into action with him. Um, so just going to try and separate him, get him away from the group, um, and let him know that he's probably had too much to drink and it's time to go home. Um, I believe it was... Uh... Greg, who had the listening device. Probably. Yes, I did. Alright. So, if you want to place it on him, um, it's just a simple, you, you press the button and then a sleight of hand if you want to get it on him. He's yeah. drunk, so he's disadvantaged, probably. He will be. Right. But I haven't drank a thing yet, so I should be Slide a hand. Eleven. Fuck. So you stealthily manage to put it on his body. Um, you slip it in. You kind of look him over. And there seems to be... A, he always wears um, the same belt pouch set wherever he goes. So you're able to attach it somewhere on the inside. You know, somewhere where it's not going to rub up against him. And you get it on his body just in time for it to start recording. It goes for him to outburst and say, I haven't drinking a fucking thing all night. Why do you think I'm fucking here? I'm trying to get get with the ladies, you know? So you want to take advantage of, of the ladies who have been drinking all night, but you haven't had a drink yourself. I mean, when you put it like that, it sounds like a bad thing. Are you sober as a because, judge? Because it is a bad thing, my friend. I am as sober as a... As a... Uh, as a priest in church. Well, uh... Have you ever done assuming... a maid stand before? Not tonight I haven't. <laughs> well, I pick him up, and I bring him over there. I say, great! Pick him up and bring him over to the ale. You're gonna do one right now. Oh, he fails right off the bat. <laughs> Yep, not a shock. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you release him out into the wild? Yep. No. <laughs> With no I'm, I'm, gonna let, I'm gonna let him go. I'm not gonna forcibly hold him. He's got a little bit of alcohol in him now. This is... He's going to become more loose with his words the drunker he gets. He's already admitted to trying to get with women while they're drunk and he's sober. Imagine what he'll say now when he's not trying to be careful. Yeah. The, yeah. You're going to watch his... No, I'm still watching him. I'm just not, I'm not going to keep a hold on him. All right. Because the next time he tries something, I'll just grab him again. And we'll take him somewhere else.
All right, so we'll go ahead and fade to black on the party. Overall, your party was a roaring success. Nice. Um, ever, you're, you're kind of you guys are kind of known as being a kind of a local legend on within your class now. Um. Yeah, I mean, I was burning up the dance floor, dude. Yeah. However. Yeah, I think there's still some scorch marks on it. It was nice. Much. <laughs> Come the morning. You hear a familiar town cry. Fucking crier. town cry. That motherfuckers. I knew it. Party goes out into the wilds. It interacts with mushrooms. And its hamlet is left in ruin. And then you also hear a bunch of the guards shouting, yelling, oh. the fucking kobolds are back to the gates, to the main gate. <laughs> um, seal it off, let nobody through until they're done with their goddamn protest. And Sorry. you also see in front of you Era. She is now awake and sober with a bright red face of fury with a crystal in her hand. What the fuck? Saying, oh boy. this has some of the most filthy Goddamn shit I have ever heard in my fucking life. Take it. I will, I will, I will take it from her. So with that... I'm not even going to listen to it. So with that, you have your evidence... Um, we'll, we'll end up taking that, I, I mean, we're getting kind of late here, but yep, I'm well, about I think to... we can save that for, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, yeah, I'm about to time. end it for the night. Um, we'll go ahead and leave it there. There's also a note addressed to the three of you. It's from... official letterhead from the university that states you are needed for a hearing on Monday. Okay. Monday? Wizard Elf. The Wizard Elf was a rat. What a bitch. Okay. Okay. We'll be there Monday. <laughs> Sunday morning now. Alright. With that, we will leave it there for tonight. Uh, let me... Uh... Sign Take off. your stream down. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, thank you all so much for watching. Hey, I really do appreciate the views. If you like what I do here, please give me a like and subscribe. If you are on the YouTube, if you're on Twitch, give me a follow. And as always, y'all have a good one.